It's a boys matchup in the Hampshire League, the Frontier Red Hawks, and the Turner's Falls Thunder. I'm Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins alongside, Nick Danger, our studio producer in Greenfield. One of the hotter teams in the Hampshire League right now would be the Turner's Falls Thunder. Only 6-6 six and six overall and 2-2 two and two in league play, but playing some really good basketball, Chris. But they're going up against a team that's been hot for this entire season so far. Yeah, this is going to be a real, a real test to see how good this Turner's team is, but... Frontier, I don't know. The last couple times out, they've had some shaky moments, and Palmer almost got a Monday night at uh, Goodno Gymnasium. Uh, Frontier came away with that win, but it was a close one, and I think people are starting to figure out how to defend the big man in the middle, the Carey brothers. In terms of the Turner's Falls Thunder, they can definitely play well in spurts. Their big, big problem this year has been consistency. When their guards are shooting well, when they're playing some defense, when they're getting on the fast break, they can pretty much run and play with anyone, but if they're having an off shooting night, it can be a little ugly. But one of the things that Frontier hasn't really run into this season is a team that can run up tempo. They haven't had to deal with fast breaks. I expect Frontier to press early, test that uh, Turner's Falls backcourt a little bit. But I, you know the, the the Thunder. I mean, uh, they they've got some talent. They've got some athleticism, and they've got Tyler Lavin, and they've got Anthony Peterson. And when you got those two guys, you're always going to be in games. Anthony Peterson, for the last several years, he's gone up against uh, Mr. Carey, Karsten Carey, and, of course, you got Paul Carey out there as well. That's a tall order, pun intended, for any team. Yeah, but, you know, if you're physical enough, you may, you may not be able to stop Karsten Carey or Peter, but you can contain them. And Peter Carey got into foul trouble the other night, and he was pretty ineffective. Karsten came in and pretty much took over in the game against Mahar. So I think that that's going to be a matchup with the Bear watching. All right, we are about uh, six or seven minutes away from the start of the game. We'll take a timeout here on our pregame show. When we come back, introduction of the starting lineups, the national anthem, and the opening tip-off, Turner's Falls Frontier, live from Turner's Falls High School. It's next, Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Good evening and welcome to the gymnasium here at Turner Falls High School for our game tonight, picking the Red Hawks of Frontier against the Turner Falls Thunder. Tonight's contest is conducted under MIAA guidelines, and we ask that you respect all players, coaches, officials, and others in attendance tonight. And now for our starting lineups. First for the Red Hawks, at guard number one, Alex Sharp. Also at guard number three, Timmy Berenger. Fourth out of 14, Owen Morris. And the other fourth out of 13, Peter Carey. 
and Senate number 22, Carson Gary. The Red Hawks are coached by, coached by Ben Barczewski. And now the Turner Falls. And third, number 10, Tyler Lavin. And another guard, number 11, Ryan Campbell. Also a guard, number 23, Jaden Whiteham. And in forward position, number 24, Chase Novak. And playing center tonight, number 33, Anthony Peterson. Turning all the court by Mr. Jerry Mullen, and assisted by Mr. Belvin Grano, Mr. Jay Manikanian, and Mr. Sean Cole. Tonight's officials are Dave Whitehead and Scott Wood. We ask that you now stand for the playing of our national anthem. Tonight at Turner's Falls High School, despite uh, a little bit of precipitation going on outside, and you know certainly with Frontier having the kind of start to the season they've had, Chris, uh, as usual, Red Hawk Nation is following them. They have a lot of people from the South County that have turned out tonight. We saw that here last night with the Greenfield girls. A lot of people are, have become hip to what's going on with that team, and they want to check them out. Well, everybody loves a winner, certainly, and uh, Frontier's been winning a lot of games. They've already qualified. They Qualify with that win over Palmer Monday night. They got their 10 wins, so they're in. Um, we'll see. I mean, it, it, they're going to be tested down the stretch. This is going to be an interesting uh, game. If, if Turners can get out front and really control the pace of this game, they might just give the Hawks a, 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 a tough run of it. Preston Carey jumping center against Anthony Peterson. Dave Whitehead is our lead official. Eight minute quarters with a 30 second shot clock tip control by the Red Hawks and the visiting Navy with red and white. And Turner's Falls in the home, white and royal blue. Carson Curry has it on the right side, takes it right in on Peterson and hits over him in the paint. Frontier going with a three guard offense as is Turner's. Two nothing Red Hawks. Right off the bat, Chase Novak deep on the left side, can't penetrate, swing pass back between the circles to Tyler Lavin. He's become the unquestioned leader of this basketball team. He's had a big year so far. He knew that was gonna happen. That was gonna be his team this year. Ryan Campbell tried to get it to Anthony Peterson down low, got tipped out of bounds off of Peter Carey. So Turner's Foles will keep it only nine seconds though on the shot clock. Lavin will inbound on the baseline right. Gets it into Ryan Campbell, foul line right. Six to shoot, right corner to Novak. Five to shoot. Not sure that they're aware of Tyler Lavin for three as the shot clock was just running down and rimmed out no good. Carson carried the rebound. Out the pass on the left to Sharp. Alex takes it across the timeline left. Deep in the left side. Peter Carey goes baseline. Jump pass right side. Coming through his morph. Jump step. And they're going to get him with traveling. Yeah, that was well defended by the Turner's player. I believe that was uh, Ryan Campbell on that one that forced that turnover. And that is Ryan Campbell's game. He's good. Very quick feet. He's a soccer player in the fall. Soccer players often make very good basketball defensive players. And he's definitely... One of those. Campbell has it deep on the left side. Jaden Whiting between the circles. It goes to Lavin. Lavin with the clenched fist play call. Deep on the left side, Chase Novak. Skip pass right side to Peterson. In the right corner to Whiting. Shot clock down to nine. They're running it down again. Back to Peterson, top of the key. Look to get it down low, tipped away. Ends up in the hands of Timmy Barrington. Barrington, his cross court pass though, tipped away by Peterson, long lead pass, but a volleyball match going on and a blocking foul is going to be called against Peter Carey of Frontier. Yeah, a little raggy play on both sides of the ball, but you know, Frontier with an unusual sort of bad pass there. Well, a minute and a half in, two nothing in favor of Frontier. Frontier on a long winning streak. They lost early in the year. They have run the table since then. Jump shot from 17, right side, Peterson, no good. Deep rebound, battled for, and it's going to go out of bounds. Which way are we going, Dave Whitehead? It should be off Karsten, but they're going to give it to Frontier. They're going to give it to Frontier. All right. Alex Sharp will throw in, in the back row. Gets it into Barrington. Barrington walks it across the timeline, calls a set play with the right-hand dribbles with the left. In the right corner, Karsten Curry. Working on Lavin, blows right by him. Jump pass to Barrington into the left corner. Sharp just inside the arc going baseline. It's a back over to Morse on the right side. Shot clock at 10. Owen Morse between the circles to Barrington. Shot clock at seven. Sharp, an open three. Back rim, no good. Deep rebound comes to Lavin. Turner's looks to run. Lavin left of the lane. Into the paint against Carey. 
Misses the shot. Put back by Peterson, though. One more time, and Anthony hits. Good job by Anthony to stay with it. Low scoring game right now. We are tied at two, two and a half minutes in now. As the teams are just kind of sloshing along right now. They're running down that shot clock, both sides. Morse with an open three right side. No good. Rebound battled for. Peter Carey has that new shot clock for the Hawks. High pass, though, way over the head of Morse. Could not corral it. Frontier looks a bit out of sync right now. That's partly because Turner's is playing good defense. Turner Falls is very athletic. Very athletic. And like I said, if they're having one of those on shooting nights, they present a lot of problems. Deep three ball, left side, Lavin got it. Oh, he buried that one. Turner's five, Frontier two. Five minutes left to play here in the opening quarter. Long pass, right side, tipped away by Lavin. Tyler takes off into the lane, lays it up and in. Thunderous start for the uh, Turner's Falls in team. Timeout Frontier will step aside. 4.48 to play here in the opening quarter. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Turner's Falls 7, Frontier 2 on Bear Country 95.3. High School Basketball on Bear Country 95.3, brought to you by the Partridge Chow Insurance Agency, Albert Hearing Services, Matusco Trail Repair, and by the Greenfield Savings Bank. Quick 5-0 run by the Thunder, courtesy of Tyler Lavin with a big three from the quarter, and Steele was turned into a layup. So Hawks in a bit of trouble early on here with the Thunder. Both teams come out with the same five they had when they left the floor, so no subs yet. Owen Morse will throw in for Frontier, gets it into Barrington. And Tim will take it across the timeline right. Heads to the center court circle. Picks up the dribble left side pass to Morse, beyond the arc, back on the right side to Barrington. Barrington to the foul line, left of the lane, bounce pass down low. Carson Carey back it in through a double team, traveling. Again, well defended. That was Campbell and that was Anthony Peterson who, who tied up Carson Carey. Turner's with the ball at a five-point lead. 4.30 to play here in the quarter. Jaden Whiting gets it over to Tyler Lavin. Some passive backcourt pressure by the Red Hawks. Reverse lane oh, by Novak is good. Back and roll, Thunder. They're up by seven. Billington takes it across. Left side pass to Morse. Bounce pass down on the baseline to Karsten Curry. Red corner it goes to Sharp. Sharp skip pass to Owen Morse. Shot clock at 15, Barrington. Fakes the three, now steps back. He will take a tray. Back rim, no rebound. Owen Morris went for the bank. Oh, missed an easy shot. Ice cold, ice cold. And the rebound oh. by Peterson. A high pass by Lavin, but it was pulled down by Chase Novak. Lavin fakes the three, and now he'll pull it back. Frontier playing man defense. Working on Owen Morris. Lavin, crossover dribble to the foul line. Fade away, Jay. Got that one, too. He is on fire right now. Turner's Falls lead is up to nine. This is a position that Frontier is not accustomed to playing. Now a tip away. They tried to feed the lane to Carey. Carson Carey picked off though and tipped away by Anthony Peterson. Chase Novak dribbles. It goes off the leg of the Frontier player. It'll stay with Turner's Falls. Substitution for Frontier. They're gonna get Walker in there. Owen, the junior, and sitting down is Barrington. I don't see Kale and Evans on the bench. He might be hurt. The win baseline, Chase Novak tipped away. Nice play there by Karsten Carey. And now taking it across is Owen Moore. Sharp, deep on the right side. They'll pull it back on the wing. Passes back. Owen Moore steps up for three. That shot is no good. Comes right down though to Karsten Carey. Easy two as he banked it in. He needed that bucket badly. Broke a long run by the Thunder. Still they lead by seven, 11-4. Anthony Peterson between the circles, takes it to the foul line, left side, open jumper by Kim, back rim, no, battling for his own rebound, and Turner Falls does get it back with a new shot clock. Deep three ball right side, that's an air ball, no good. By Whiting, it gets tipped out of bounds off Turner's, back to the Red Hawks. Well, Turner's is winning the hustle points right now, Jeff. You don't often see that. Usually Frontiers is diving after every ball, looks very passive, and Turner's is very aggressive right now. Alex Sharp will run the point right now, takes it across to Morris, back to Sharp. Sharp, a little pass tipped out of bounds over towards us. It'll go to Turner's Falls. It was off of the Hawks. So their struggles continue. Very disjointed Ooh. offense so far. Oh, kind of a lazy inbounds pass, nearly picked off. And now again, some passive backcourt pressure, not really trapping at this point. They get it across to Novak. Novak passes right side, Lavin for three. Tyler missed that one, rimmed out, no good. 
Loose ball picked up by Frontier. They look to run. Peter Carey takes it across. Now looking for some help. Back to Owen Morris. Pass tipped out of bounds off of Ryan Campbell. It'll stay with the Hawks. This might be the lowest point total for Frontier in the first quarter this season. Four points, two minutes left. Yeah, it's got to be. It has to be. I, I can't imagine anything was less. Still have two minutes to go here. We'll see if they can start to light it up a bit. Oh, beautiful move along the baseline by Karsten Kier when he banked it home. A little spin move by Karsten here all of Frontier's points. Long pass down court to Jaden Money. Got it back over to Novak. Swing pass right side to Lavin. Lavin will slow it down just a little bit. High post. Nice give and go. Peterson to Lavin lays it up and in with the scoop shot. Sweet bit of passing there. Turner's 13. Frontier 6. A minute 30 to play here in the first quarter. One morphs. Deep on the left side, takes it now to the right. Sealed off there, tipped away by Novak. Chase is gonna take it coast to coast, lays it up, and around the rim and in. Turner's has got all the momentum right now. Benny wants to talk about it. A second timeout in the first quarter by Ben Barshevsky of Frontier. We'll step aside. One minute, 18 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Look at this. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Turner's 15, Frontier six on Bear Country. Back here at Turner's Falls High School, Kevin with Bear in the morning starting at 5.30 tomorrow morning. A little bit of weather tonight. I thought maybe we'd have a little more mixed precipitation. Looks like it's gonna be just rain, so not really looking at any kind of school closings or cancellations tomorrow or delays, but just in case there is, Kevin will have those. But Bear in the morning starts at 5.30. At 6.40 and at 8.40, he'll have the local Sports update including a recap, a recap of tonight's game and a preview of Friday night's game here at Greenfield and Turner's Falls Boys. All right, play back on now. Frontier coming out of the time. Now Walkowitz has it. High pass corralled there by Sharp. Alex, top of the key. Left side they go. They try to bounce pass down low to carry, but it went right to Anthony Peterson. And Anthony had the easiest of steals. Lavin nearly lost it as they came across the timeline, but got it back to Chase Novak. Under a minute to play here in the quarter, and Frontier's been held to just six points. Chase Novak on the right side. Passes to Anthony Peterson. Dumps it down low to Ryan Campbell in amongst the trees, traveling. Yeah, that was a good, a good uh, exchange. Unfortunately, the, the travel put an end to it, but Turner's is moving the ball very, very well right now. 42 seconds to play in the quarter. Turner's leading by nine, 15 to six. Running across on the right side is Sharp. Passes back, Felton Emmett between the circles, back to Sharp in the right corner, can't get that shot away, good Turner's Falls D. Peter Curry now, gets it back to Sharp. Shot clock down to 11, top of the key, Felton Emmerich. Down to seven to shoot, Felton Emmerich. Left side, they get it back, Walkowitz, three to shoot, Walkowitz comes through and hits on the floater. Owen Walkowitz, the first non carson carry points of the game. Long pass down, all by himself, down low. Jaden Whiting lays it in. Frontier fell asleep on D. Three seconds left in the quarter. Here comes Sharp, never took a shot, was not aware of the time. What is going on with Frontier? We'll talk about it. Timeout on the floor, end of one here at Turner's Falls High School and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's the Turner's Falls Thunder, 17 to Frontier Red Hawks State. coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Collins, I'll state the obvious. Not the best quarter of play for the Frontier Red Hawks this year. Probably the worst I've seen this year for this team. I've seen more than many, more than most. But right now, the difference has been the hustle of Turner's and the guard play. The guards are out playing Frontier's guards right now. All right, second quarter underway, and the Thunder with the basketball. Tyler Lavin was huge in that first quarter, although he did cool off late, and he just had a 
An ill-advised pass get picked off by the Red Hawks and we'll see if Frontier can now take advantage. Cut into this nine point deficit a little bit. On the right side, open is Morse, into the paint, jump pass, Karsta Carey, power move down low and hits. Yeah, if he heats up, it's gonna turn things around for Frontier. Turner's false crowd wanted a travel, but he did not travel. Driving the lane, unable to score was Kyle Dodge, who just checked in. So one and done for the Thunder, and back quickly now, Frontier now trailing only by seven. Sharp has out on the right side, between the circles. And a three-point bomb put up, no good. Battle for the rebound, we have a held ball on the arrow, it'll favor Frontier. Yeah, Paletis had that rebound, but he, I think he just took his eye off the ball for a half second, and Karsten got a paw on it, and do the turnover. The inbound the ball to Karsten Carey, they work it all the way around, Walkowitz, going north. Sharp going baseline, jump pass over to Wachowicz, left side, all the way through. Pull up pop from 15, is no good by Morse. Deep rebound, tipped out, comes down to Kyle Dodge. Dodge takes it across, zips a pass up ahead on the left wing to Loudon. Cross court pass to Anthony Peterson, foul line right. Finds an easy lane, tipped away though by Karsten Carey. We've seen that movie before, but Turner's Falls does get it back. Coming on through Anthony Peterson, little wraparound pass. Coming all the way through, they get it back to Lavin. 10 to shoot, Tyler Lavin has it. Trying to work a screen, jump pass down to Peterson. Four to shoot, Anthony puts it up, no. And what do we got? Foul down low on Frontier. Yeah, he got smacked as he went up for the shot with four seconds left on the shot clock. And are they saying the foul was on the floor? Yes, so not shooting. Oh, okay. Turner's falls will inbound on the baseline. Lavin will throw in, gets it into Peterson. He'll take a 17-foot jumper, front rim no. Rebound taken down by Karsten Carey. Outlet pass on the left to Sharp. Sharp out of the front court left. Now angles towards the right. Into the right corner, Wachowicz dumps it down low. Peter Carey goes up strong, off the glass and in. On the overplay, nicely done. And the Hawks back to within five now. 17-12, six minutes to play here in the first half. Lavin well beyond the arc, left side, trying to work a screen. Can't do it with Peterson, loses the handle. Dodge, they'll get it back. Top of the key, Peterson looking to dump it down low, can't do it. In the left corner, it's Dodge. Ryan Campbell, rather, back. Peterson from just inside the arc, back rim, no good. Deep rebound comes to Wachowicz. Tennis has cooled off considerably. And Frontier, the Red Hawk fan, they're hoping that they cannot squander these opportunities. Wachowicz with a deep jumper, no good. Deep rebound, that goes. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say, it went off the Frontier player. The ball ended up underneath the stand, so <laughs> Dave Whitehead, who's a rather tall guy, has to get way down and kick the ball free. He got it. Ryan Campbell just checked out for Turner's, and what do we got? Jaden Whiting just checked back in. Also in his Chase Novak. Novak has the ball right now. Five and a half minutes to play in the first half. Turner's leads by five. They have led, uh, with Frontier led 2 nothing, but since then, it's been mostly a thunder night. From the foul line, Peterson lost it, got it back, got it back to Novak. Novak left the lane all the way through. The left Ooh. lane is no good. And the rebound comes down to Peter Carey. They get looks at it, it's just not falling right now. Sharp runs it up quickly, stops on the right wing, picks up the dribble, skip pass the left side. They work in left corner, Wachowicz into the lane. Nice pass, but short arming it was Karsten Carey. Peter Carey feeds, Karsten puts it up and one. And you're not going to keep the Carey brothers down for long, and that was a perfect example of a rebound and a quick pass to his brother, and Karsten goes up, count it to one. But even so, even though they got the desired result, still a struggle to yeah. get him the ball where he likes it. No, it's certainly, Turner's came out with a game plan. This is a well-scouted situation in a call timeout. And it looks like this will be a full timeout, so we'll step aside. 4.55 to play here. First half, Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Turner's Falls lead is down to three. 17-14 over Frontier. Back after this on Bear Country, 95.3. So a 6-0 Frontier lead, a 6-0 Frontier run, I should say, to begin the second quarter here to take it from 17-8 Turner's to 17-14. And Karsten Curry back the line trying to make it a three-point play. Yeah, Turner is still moving the ball well, but they, their shots are not falling in this quarter. That's been the difference. And Frontier hasn't shot the ball great either, but they've been the more of their opportunities in the second quarter. It just goes to show, Chris, 
you can watch basketball, you can pay attention to which way the wind's blowing. You think you have an idea that this might be a high scoring game with all the offensive firepower. <laughs> Not the case so far. I mean, we don't know how it's gonna play out, but it's been kind of a muck fest so far. Carey now sights the free throw, lets it fly. It is good, a three point play by Karsten Carey. And Turner's Falls lead down to two, a long pass to Whiting. Can't do anything with it. Anthony Peterson on the right side. Waits to get it to Lavin. Tyler will slow things down, and Turners will set it up. Lavin between the circles, being guarded by Morse. Crossover dribble, right of the lane. Oh, behind the back pass to Peterson. Anthony takes it in, down to 10 to shoot. Jaden Whiting, top of the key to Campbell. Down low to Peterson, five to shoot. Back to Campbell, he'll launch a three. That's an air ball, no good. Loose ball picked up by Frontier. And they can tie or take the lead here. Three-point bomb right side, Morse is good. Oh boy. And Frontier reclaims the lead, 18-17, their first lead since 2-0. Anthony Peterson misses from the left side. But Frontier wanted to get out on the break. They throw it away and <laughs> Ben Barshevsky, the coach, caught the ball and slammed it to the ground before he handed it to the official. He's frustrated with his guys. He knows they're better than us. Uh, this is, a lot of this seems like it's mental. It's not physical, I don't think. But the one right now for Frontier is 10-0, and that's substantial. Not like that 40 to nothing Greenfield girls one we saw last night here. Oh, blocked down low was Campbell. Nice play there, not sure where the defender was. Sharp comes back, bounce pass over to Morse, who just hit that three. Penetrates, left side no good, but a blocking foul called against Anthony Peterson. Went right at AP, he knew exactly what he was doing there. He knew he was gonna get hit going up, and he drew the foul. Two free throws for Morse. The first one is up, it is no good. Morse has won a Helen, the chemical player of the game t-shirt earlier this year, but it is the game at Smith Academy. And one of these young student athletes will get that t-shirt again tonight. Second freebie that is in and out, no good. Missed them both, that's a squander for Frontier. Their lead remains at one. Lavin pulls back for three, misses Ooh. badly. Turner falls now, has gone ice cold. Sharp running it up, stops on the right wing. Waits for his teammates to catch up. Picks up the dribble, passes right side. Morris launches for three, book it! Yeah, he's gonna start heating up out there. That's gonna be a tough night for Turners if he does. Frontier by four, 21-17. 3.20 to play here in the half. A halftime report coming up. We'll recap this first half and we'll preview Greenfield Turners Friday night. Now another steal as Sharp picked it off. And this is Robinson, B-Rob with the three. It's raining threes, this is Frontier basketball now. Man, this script got flipped in a hurry. Timeout Turners, 3.02 to play here in the first half. And now on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is Frontier 24, Turner 17 on Bear Country 95.3. So nearly five minutes into the second quarter, Turners falls with a goose egg this quarter. Frontier, meanwhile, they have scored 16 points, 16 all run. Yeah, and the thing is, Turner's has had their opportunities, they're just not making their shots, and that last three by Tyler was way off, so out of sync shooting, and that's all it takes, you know, is, is a couple of minutes, half a quarter, let these guys back in the game, they're gonna come back and stomp you, and right now that's what's happening. So obviously the strategy here for Turner's have a really good offensive set here, resulting in a good look at some points, because they've thrown up some, uh, they're kind of a, it's kind of a wing and a prayer these last couple of trips. Anthony Peterson has it, gets it to Lavin, lowers his shoulder, goes in, blocked down low by Ooh. Morse. No foul call, just great D. Morse, he's had the hot hand, gets it to Robinson, he's gonna take another three, hits the side of the backboard, tipped around, Karsten Carey, back it in, tipped away by Campbell, Karsten Carey goes to the floor, but he was out of bounds when he got that ball back to the Thunder. Look at Karsten Carey hitting the floor, a little hustle points there. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, he he's he knows he's a target. We talked to him uh, before the Greenfield game. We had him on a pregame interview, and he knows that in terms of physicality, he's going to get roughed up all season long, and he, he wants to match that. He wants to give it right back where it came from, and he did right there. Tyler Lavin kind of curls around, does a complete pirouette, went for the bank, no good. Karsten carry the rebound. That led on the left is sharp. Again, a 16-0 Frontier run right now. We're down to two minutes to play here in the second quarter. Turner's Falls has not scored yet. 
in this frame. But Robinson, left corner goes to Morse. They jump out on him. Owen takes it back to the wing. Back to Robinson. They get in a high post. Peter Carey, right side pass to Sharp. Sharp tried to go baseline. Sealed off, though, by Campbell. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Carries to Carey from the foul line. Dipsy do drive. Does not get the bounce. Got his own rebound. Got it over to Morse. New shot clock. Owen. Pull up pot from 10. No. Rebound. Peter Carey puts it up and in. It's too much rebounding right now. There's too many opportunities for Frontier second shots to the basket. 18 0 Red Hawk run now. It's hard to believe they trail by nine at one point. Anthony Peterson looks to break the run. No good. One and done again. No offensive rebounding whatsoever for Big Blue. Frontier digging in again. Coming down to one minute mark. They lead by nine. Coming through. Sharp's going to take a three. He's going to make a three. This is what they do. 19 0 run. Check that. 21 0 run. 29 17. Frontier now. Under a minute to play in the quarter. Politis in the right corner. Ryan Campbell. Tricky dribbles, takes it on the right side, gets it. Anthony Peterson, top of the key, and they throw it away. Threw the ball one way, and Jaden Whiting was going the other way. Yeah, Turner's looks pretty rattled right now. Frontier trailed by nine. They now lead by 12. It's a 21 point swing. That's astonishing. Sharp loops the pass. Carson Carey from the left block banks it home. 31 17 in favor of the Red Hawks. 25 seconds to play in the quarter. All right, Turners, you're running out of running out of chances to score this quarter. Tyler Lavin comes through, got it, count it, and a foul. Just in the nick of time with 19 seconds left. But yeah, this is this has been an amazing turnaround. You mentioned flip, scripts getting flipped. That's exactly what happened. That Frontier just went to another level after, after that break. Yeah, that was a 23-0 run, taking it from 17-8 to 31-17, and now finally a bucket by Turner's to make it 31-19. Lavin will try to make it a three-point play, and he does as he makes the free throw. 19 seconds left in the half. Shot clock is off. Frontier with the ball with the 11-point lead. Owen Morris, deep on the left. Frontier looks like they're going to save for one shot. Seven seconds left. Right side to Sharp. Four seconds left. Pulls back. Three-pointer is no good. Peterson the rebound. Let's it fly. And it is no good. Halftime here at Turner's Falls High School. And our score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, the Frontier Redhawks 31, the Turner's Falls Thunder 20, the Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report is coming up next. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Welcome to the Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report. Turner's Falls High School again tonight for Frontier and Turner's Falls and the Frontier Red Hawks looking for their 11th win on the year. And they lead by 11 at halftime, 31 to 20. Jeff Terrell and Chris Collins courtside here and Nick Danger is in our Greenfield Studios. Boy, that second quarter, you talk about statistically and in every way, all Red Hawks. Definitely a tale of two quarters. Frontier came out about as flat as we've seen them come out. Uh, for a first quarter this season. And in the second quarter, they just dialed it up. And Turner's, you know, they moved the ball well, but they couldn't make any shots. And I think that the the guard play, specifically of Frontier, really improved in that second quarter. In the first quarter, Turner's guards owned Frontier's guards. In the second quarter, I think that the guard play got better. Isn't it funny, though, Chris, how contagious it can be? Sometimes a team will get off to a slow start, and it, it may be one or two guys who are just off a little bit, and it, a team can work their way through that. Sometimes it's the whole 
starting five out there. For Frontier, that was the case. I mean, it's, it's just strange that a team that's that good can look that poor. Well, plus, they're also missing some components. Kalen Evans is not out there. Uh, Colin Boudreaux with the injury is not. Yep. So, I mean, it's a couple of their key guys, Boudreaux's usually the first guy off the bench if he's not starting. So, you know, but, but you know, Barrington did well in there, I think, in the sub. I think uh, Walkowitz did all right. And Brett Robinson. I mean, he's not a lot of drop-off. They've got some good depth there. But that first quarter, it was all a lack of effort. It wasn't a question of, of anything other than just, just a flat, flat performance. But not flat anymore. Well, it just goes to show that Frontier, with a terrific record of 10-1 and coming into this game, they haven't lost since an early season loss against a strong opponent. You know, it just goes to show, um, you know, they're not infallible. In fact, there really are no, not, not only uh, in the Hampshire League in our area, but really in all of Western Mass basketball, there aren't any real super teams, you know, maybe locally Greenfield on the girls' side. But in boys' basketball, I mean, there are some very talented teams. Frontier's one of them, but no one's infallible. Yeah, that's the, the thing. You don't really have the, you know, nobody's chasing a Hopkins or a, a Pioneer in their heyday. So that makes for parity and makes for some interesting games. And it makes for a very interesting mix going down the stretch toward the postseason. Turner's Falls led 17 to 8 at the end of one. Frontier caught their sea legs, though, in the second quarter to the tune of a 23 to 3 advantage. And they lead by 11 at intermission. It's 31 20 in favor of Frontier. We'll take a timeout on our halftime report. When we come back, we'll take a look at our next broadcast uh, right back here again. It'll be the third time this week we're at TFHS. Turner's Greenfield, a rivalry game. The boys, Friday night. We'll talk about it next on Bear Country 95.3. Leading all scorers for the Frontier Red Hawks, Karsten Carey, 13 points, six points for Owen Morse, four for Peter Carey, and three for Brett Robinson, and three for Alex Sharp, two for Owen Walkowitz. For the Turner's Falls Thunder, Tyler Lavin, 12 points, four for Chase Novak, and two each for Jaden Whiting and Anthony Peterson as we start the second half. All right, the first quarter, very different from the second quarter. What happens here in the third? We're about to find out. It'll be Turner's Falls basketball. They come out with Whiting, Novak, Lavin, Campbell, and Peterson. And Frontier comes out with the Carey brothers, Barrington, Sharp, and more. So the original starting five for each team out there right now. Chase Novak takes it in. Oh, finger roll rejected by Peter Carey. Saw that coming. Oh yeah. Very deep three ball and a little bit beyond the range of Owen Morris. A held ball in the rebound and possession arrow favors the Frontier. See, Frontier can afford to take those outside shots because they've got those guys in the middle to, to clean up the glass. So that's a low risk shot by Owen Morris. And it is definitely an NBA three. It's not delineated here on the floor, but just eyeballing it. That is way beyond the high school and college arc. Three ball by Barrington. That was pretty deep as well. And no good, but Peter Carey with those long arms oh. got the rebound, but missed it. And back come the Thunder. On the right side, it's Ryan Campbell. Goes over to Chase Novak. Deep in the left side, three ball put up by Lavin. Got it. <laughs> And that was well defended, too. And we have a foul. The basket is going to count, but it looks like we had a foul on the rebound against whom? It's going to be Carey, I think. He got hung up on the way back up the floor. No, they, they give it to Barrington. First on him. Oh, no check that. Oh, you know, it, it, was, uh, it was against Campbell of... Of Turner's Falls, but the basket counted. 31 to 23. On the left side, it's Morse. Coming through. Skip pass right side. Sharp pull up pop from 17. Good. Okay, when he gets open, he gets a nice stroke. Yeah, Frontier is full of really good shooters. Beating everyone down court, Jaden Whiting got bumped by Sharp, and Alex will pick up the ticket. One of these, he made that shot and got down the floor in time to come back and block <laughs> that pass. That's what is he wearing that one of those like flash outfits underneath his uniform? <laughs> I believe that might be the case. Ryan Campbell worms itself free for the shot, missed it off the back rim though. Peter Carey got the rebound, gets it over to Sharp. Sharp into the front court, right side, all by himself is Barrington. Uh -oh. Ooh, he wanted that three. Also nearly traveled, but got away with it. On the left side, going baseline. And up off the glass, nice play there by Owen Morris. Yeah, he can play an inside-out game, give him the opportunity. Long pass down court to Whitey, and it's to Campbell. 
Bounce pass, Anthony Peterson traveling. Hey, tried to go through both Carey brothers and just could not get by. I mean, it's possible to do that, but it's not too likely. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> like running into a redwood tree. Yeah, it's, it's asking a lot. And Anthony did shuffle the feet. Frontier leading by 12, 35-23, 6.50 to play here in the third quarter. Sharp runs it up, accelerates on the left side, backs it out, left corner. Peter Carey, the big guy's gonna take a three. Rims out, no good. Rebound comes to Turner's. Anthony Peterson hit his teammate Campbell, who fell to the floor, but the Thunder did come away with it anyway. Tyler Lavin, step back three, no good. Peter Carey the rebound, gets it to Barrington. Barrington, between the circles, ooh. Well, he lost the dribble as he went behind the back deep on the right side to Morse. And on the right side, Morse on the wing. Takes it inside the arc. Pushes a shot off the glass, no good. Rebound taken down by Chase Novak. Cut it over to Lavin. Tyler running it up. As Campbell on the wing. Ryan going baseline and got blocked there. Another foul called against Frontier. This will be the third of the half. Haven't been a lot of foul shots in this game. Two personal fouls on Karsten Carey. Campbell inbound on the baseline left. Gets it into Lavin all by himself. He'll take that three and he sticks it. Don't want to leave that guy open that easily. 35-26, Frontier by nine. So now backcourt pressure by the Thunder, but the Hawks break it pretty easily. But a bad pass, Karsten Carey couldn't meet the mark with Tim Great Barrington, and it goes out of bounds. Yeah, that was way in front of Tim. As great as he is, he couldn't catch him. Great Barrington. On the left side, open for a jumper white. He knew he missed it, filled the lane, and we got a foul on Turner's as they came crashing to get it. That foul is going to be against Campbell. Two quick ones on him. 5 11 to play, third quarter. Frontier 35, Turner's falls 26. Inbound it to Sharp. Backcourt pressure by the Thunder. Nice job, though, by Frontier of breaking it. Sharp has it on the right wing. 20 seconds to shoot, takes it top of the key left side pass to Morse. Owen dumps it down low. Karsten Carey goes to work and hits the shot. Goes to work is right. Spin move again on the baseline. Long pass down court to Whitey. Gets it back to Tyler Lavin on the left wing. Lavin now will take it out here. The center court circle guarded by Morse. Man, Frontier D. Peterson hands back. Step back three by Lavin was no good, Tip Brown comes down to Chase Novak, wrap around pass to Peterson, he'll take a jumper from 17, no good, tipped around, and a foul call, no, no foul, went off the uh, support of the backboard, so it'll be Frontier ball. 4.29 to play here in the third quarter, they lead 37 to 26. The inbound at the Carson Curry and an over the back reach in call against Anthony Peterson. Now that's a foul. That's two on Anthony. 13 foul this half on Turner's. Campbell checks out for Turner's. And into the lineup, Jeremiah Russell. Seeing his first minutes tonight. We'll call him J. Russ. J. Russ, okay, we'll do it. Now a steal by Chase Novak. Long pass to Lavin. Lavin going one on two. Wisely peels back. Waits for his teammates. Novak open for three, left side. Doesn't get the bounce. Hit the support above the rim. It'll go back to the Hawks. And Turner's trying to find any kind of offensive spurt here. That was a shot I'm not sure Novak takes a lot of. No, I'm sure he does not. Well, they had trouble in bounding it. Nearly thrown away. Nice play there by Sharp. Goes down low to Peter Carey with the one-handed slam. I don't know how they got that ball into the front court, but Carey was going to make full use of it. And a long pass down court. They're going to get Barrington on a reach in as he tried to get the ball away from Chase Novak. And the officials are going to confirm. Did they get Burnton on a foul call? They're just saying out of bounds. Nope, just that, out of, that, just just out out of bounds. They're just out of bounds on Burnton. I thought they got him on a reaching foul. They get it into Jeremiah Russell. Jay Russ backs it out, working. On Sharp, tricky dribbles, gets it to Novak in the paint, little scoop shot, went for the finger roll, didn't get it. Rebound comes to Morris, Owen into the front court, goes right by Russell, all the way through, lays it up, off the glass and in, carried it in one. Well, that was a big time play by Owen Morris, just was not gonna be denied, knew he was gonna get hit, made the bucket and go to the line. 
He has had a game. He, there was that spurt. He was the first guy that really got Frontier going at the beginning of that second quarter, and uh, just a phenomenal play there. Dodge comes in for Whiting for Turner's Falls, and Gabe Gachinski will come in for Barrington for Frontier. Gabe seeing his first minutes tonight. Now, Gigi can stick the three as well, so another three-point threat on the floor for the Hawks. Free throw, though, was no good by Morse, but the rebound to Karsten Carey went for the bank. No good. Saved it on the baseline and got it to Gachinski and a new shot clock for the Hawks. They lead now by 15 points. They get it down low. Karsten Carey all by himself. He gets way above the rim and lays it in. Yeah, they pretty much own that front court right now. 17-point lead now for Frontier, 43-26. Lavin gets a screen top of the key on the right side. Looked to get it to his teammate, threw it out of bounds, and now the Turner's players are looking at each other saying, hey, you zigged when I wanted you to zap. Yeah, that was a set play, and someone missed an assignment. Down to 317 to play here in the third, and Gachinski's inbound got batted away, and now the official comes over and tells Lavin to back off a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. And the inbound the ball to Gachinski. Gabe's going to take it all the way through. Fake the pass, went for the lay in. No good, tipped around. Gachinski gets it back. Shuffle pass in the paint, tipped away. Here comes Lavin. Lavin, one on two. All the way through. Draws the foul. Oh, he goes down hard and got the bucket and a foul. And he's jawing at Morse as he ended up on his backside. That is a tough kid. And a mouthy one. We all, uh, Tyler Lavin, we've been talking to him for years. And he does not mess around out there. He's, uh, he's an a player with some attitude, a lot of swagger, showed it there. And that free throw is good for a three-point play. Makes it 43-29. to 29. And what do we got? Toner Spalls. Uh, Frontier will be inbounding. Morse. Oh, it's a delay of game call against Politis of Turner's Falls as he tipped the ball away. Peterson in for Politis. So Anthony playing with those two fouls. We'll check back in, and he's going to... Be right on that baseline. Turner's Falls now is going to press, trying to provoke a steal or any other kind of turnover. They get into Gachinski, and they got the turnover as he shuffled his feet. Nice defense there. Well, they, they were going to isolate him. You knew that was coming, and a nice job there by Kyle Dodge. Frontier leading by 14. Turner's looking to chip away here. Between the circles is Lavin. Tyler pulls back for three. Book it! I'll tell you, he is having a night. He's definitely in the conversation for having a kind of a player of the game. Six quick points for Tyler Lavin. And the lead now is down to 11 at 43-32. 2.42 to play here in the quarter. Turner's Falls doesn't get the steal that time on the inbounds. Sharp has it on the left wing. Passes right side. Morris, he's going to take a three. And does not get the bounce. Karsten Carey got the rebound. Threw it up there as he was falling down. And he got fouled. They didn't say the foul was on the floor. He was not shooting. The act of the foul, so Frontier will get it in under the basket. One more, and we're in a bonus. All right, Sharp will win down on the baseline, but first a substitution, and Wachowicz, who uh, has had quality minutes in the games that I have done, will check in for Gabe Kuczynski. He's a good role player. Arston Carey going right baseline, blocking foul. Did they get Peterson? If so, that's three on Anthony. Nope, it is on Lavin, his second. Seventh team foul. Kyle Dodge out, Ryan Campbell in for Turners. And we are into the one and one. I want to thank more of the sponsors on the broadcast tonight. The South Deerfield Polish Club, Gilmontigo Regional Schools, Nardowich Tree Service, and Hubie's Tavern and Restaurant. Now the lead official, Dave Whitehead, is going to go to the scores table. They're trying to get clarification on something. And I'm trying to read lips, but they're too far away. I'm not sure what they're talking about. Are they, are they going to pull him off the line? And they're, they're pulling him off the line for sure. Okay, so it'll be an inbounds play. I'm not sure it was a foul. They didn't post anything. Yeah, no, they, they pulled it back down. You know, say he just fell down out of bounds and the ball was off the Turner's player. So a non-call there. Only the second most famous non-call in yeah. recent sports history. You know what number one was. I'm so sick of hearing that. <laughs> well, Chris, come on. 
I'm not going to let that go. The Saints, like it. Saints go rock. Turner Falls gets the steal. Russell, oh, nice move, goes in strong on Karsten. Carey didn't get the bucket, but he did draw the foul on Karsten. And that's three on Karsten. J. Russ, no fear in that kid. He went up strong on the big man. And a timeout called by Frontier. We'll take a break, 2.04 to play third quarter. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is Turner Falls. Trailing Frontier by a score of 43-32 on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. All right, Chris, I'll drop this in a second, but considering the stakes last Sunday, you don't think that that was it's horrible. The, the, the worst non-college It was, a, it was a horrible call. I'm not, say, I'm not saying not it call. wasn't. Okay. I'm just sick of You're hearing sick about, of about it. it. Okay. Could you imagine? I, I mean, it was never really going to happen, but could you imagine if they had called for a replay of that game? I, I was thinking. My, wow. That yeah, would have been That would have been unprecedented. Incredible. It would have been pretty amazing. And it, it probably would have ended the Saints' way. But the thing is, with replay, I don't understand how that doesn't get overturned, but I guess they're going to change the rules. So. Yeah. First of two is up by Russell. No good. Yeah, that's a non-replay, non-reviewable call. For now. For now. I don't think it's going to be the case next year. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm with you, Chris. Use technology. You have it, use it. And if you do you use it, you avoid what happened on Sunday. Russell hits the second of two, 43-33. Turner's back to the 10. Now back to the issue at hand here. Basketball. Hampshire League side. Morris into the front court left. Double team. Got it away, though, to Peter Carey. Peter, jumper from the free throw line. Nothing but nylon. Boy, the net barely moved on that one. 45-33, Frontier by 12. Chase Novak blocking foul called against Sharp as he couldn't quite get his feet set against Novak. And to the free throw line, one and one. Chase Novak. Shooting off to our left, right-handed shooter. Dribbles it three times, dips, shoots, good. Chase will get one more here. Try to get his team back to within 10. Turner's trying to hang around. Second freebie on the way. That one is in and out, no good. Walkowitz the rebound. Walkowitz, Owen passes on the right side to another Owen. It's Owen Morris into the front court left. Dribble dribbles away. Shuffle pass to Sharp, 15 to shoot, to Barrington. Bounce pass left side, Walkowitz. Going baseline, sealed off, traveling call against Frontier. So Turner's stepping up the defense a little bit. Right now you've got Carson on the bench with the three fouls. Peter's playing the middle. Lavin, long pass down to Chase Novak. Fed the paint to Campbell, put the shot up no good, but a foul, they got Sharp again. That's gonna be two or three on Alex. It's gonna be three, yep. three on Alex. And we'll see if anybody jumps up off of that Red Hawk bench. Not right now, anyway. Not seeing anybody. Ryan Campbell will go to the line, shooting two here. Frontier JV's won, by the way, tonight decisively. 89 to 26. As Campbell misses the first, he'll get one more. So the Frontier Varsity guys looking to make it a sweep. That JV team is just knocking the, you know what, out of everybody they play, it seems like. Second free throw is good, so Campbell makes one of two. Frontier's lead is at 10, 45-35, a buck 20 left to play in the third. Peter Perry, open 16-foot jumper left side, he hits that one too. He's feeling it now. He's got a nice shooting stroke. Lavin all the way through, takes matters into his own hands and a blocking foul of code against Owen Morse. I tell you. Morse against Lavin, that has been, I mean, everybody in the gym is watching Peterson against the Carey brothers, but I've been watching Lavin against Morse. That's been a big time battle tonight. Yeah, and it's a senior against a sophomore, and uh, Lavin has had an amazing night, 25 points in this game. Lavin makes the first, gets his team back to within 11, makes the second as well, it's a 10 point game. Substitution, Peter Carey will check out. No, Peter Carey's gonna stay, Morse will check out. Sharp will stay out there. And Robinson is back in now. So Brett, yeah, stuck a three back in the first half. He has the basketball right now. Passes on over to Walkwood's high pass to Burrington, who took a quick glance, make sure he kept his feet in bounds. Has it between the circles, right side to Walkwood's, takes it right in. 
Trying to wrap around pass, it was tipped away. Here comes Russell going one on three. Gets it back, Lavin fakes the three. Novak, top of the key, three ball. Back rim, no, Peterson the rebound. Gets it to Russell, Russell will jack a three. That is no good, it almost got caught. And that guide wire up there, that, that, that took a while to come down. If that guide wire is not there, that ball probably ends up in the basket. I the think you're right. Nudged it just enough. So Frontier's lead continues to be 10. We're down to 40 seconds left. Turner's falls, double teaming. They get a steal, Anthony Peterson. Oh, missed the land. A lot of contact, didn't get the call. He got hammered going up. Back comes Sharp, gets it to Burrington. Burrington goes baseline, wraparound pass. Walkowitz rejected by Peterson. Shot clock is off. 22 seconds left in the third. Turner's trails by 10. Peterson, traveling violation. Well, Turner's is very much still in this game, Jeff. They're only down by 10. Approaching the end of the third quarter. This is anybody's ball game still. Zach Norminger checks in for Wachowicz. And Robinson inbounding on the baseline right in front of us. Loops a pass, kind of a lazy pass, but Peter Carey Good goes up ahead and Burrington. Oh, great athletic play to save it from going out of bounds. Threw it to <laughs> Robinson and he bucknered it. Went oh, right man. between the wickets. And Barrington did all that work to keep the ball out <laughs> and he threw it. Went right between Robinson's legs. Ah, oh, it's a tough break for, for B. Rob. Right between the wickets and he bucknered it. And here <laughs> left side, three ball in the wing. Chase Novak misses badly. Jeremiah Russell though got the rebound, tipped around. It comes to Sharp and that'll do it. End of three here, Turner's Falls High School. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's the Frontier Red Hawks 47, the Turner's Falls Thunder 37. Fourth quarter action next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Fourth quarter action underway now. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins here. Our studio producer in Greenfield is Nick Danger. Turner's Falls with the ball. They trail by 10. They still trail by 10 as Peterson missed from the right corner. And Tim Barrington with the rebound. Barrington. Across the timeline, tricky dribbles pass. Russell shuffle pass to Morse on the right. Frontier exercises some patience here. Russell is all over Morse, looking for the steal to get it to Karsten Carey. Swing pass, Barrington for three. Good! That lefty three ball from the outside by Tim. Frontier by 13. Lavin gets it to Campbell. His lane is no good. Peterson there to clean up. Oh, oh misses. AP couldn't finish. Frontier with the 13 point lead and the ball. Barrington, they get it. Morse top of the key, right side to Sharp. Alex passes left side to Barrington. Barrington, nice dish into paint. Walkowitz gets the bounce. Well passed. Walkowitz right where he needed to be in the slot. 15 point lead. Step back three. Lavin, that shot is no good. Oh! Walkowitz just. Loose ball goes out of bounds. No foul call. They could have gotten Peterson. He laid out. What? He laid out his own guy. Laid out his own guy, actually. Goes out of bounds. I mean, It'll be frontier ball. Campbell got hit with a forearm shiver. Unintentional, obviously. Alex Sharp working on Russell. Into the front court right. Stops on the wing. Top of the key, Walkowitz. Left side, Barrington on the wing. Left corner, Karsten Carey. He's actually the only Carey brother out there right now, so we'll just say Carey. We need Karsten. Karsten had it, lost it, held ball. Falls down and a reach and foul will call. And they're going to get Anthony Peterson on that one. And how many on him now? Three. Three personals. 17 fouls on Turner's. One and one. 
for Karsten Carey. 15 point lead for the Red Hawks looking to go to 11 and one on the year and a perfect five and zero in Hampshire League play. First of the one and one is good. If Turner's Falls does lose this game, they'll be back under 500. So as we get close to the two thirds point of the season, they are firmly on the tournament bubble. Second free throw is good. So Fifth. Friday's a big game for both those teams. Yeah, that's huge. It's a huge game anyway because it's a rivalry game. Lavin comes through. He's really forcing the issue. Misses that bucket, but he got fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Well, Tyler's trying to get something going here. I mean, he's sort of been the offensive spark plug for this team tonight. He's got all but 11 points of, of uh, the, the Thunder 37 on the board right now. Lavin's first of two is up, and it is good. Something that we need to talk about as we get close to the end of the game. Rarely, if ever, does a player from a losing team win the Hill on a chemical player of the game, but you could make a case, a strong case, for Tyler tonight. We'll see how it plays out once we get to the postgame show. Second free throw is good as well. 54-39, Campbell gets the steal for Turner's great play to Lavin. To Chase Novak, his pass off the side of the backboard. It comes down to Tyler Lavin. He backs it out, working on Burrington. Lavin takes his man off the dribble. Nice dish. Peterson goes up strong. Off the glass, no. Tipped around. Karsten Carey gets the rebound. Out of the way to Burrington. Burrington runs it up and a reach and foul called against Ryan Campbell. Campbell looks back like, what did I do? Well, you fouled him. Well, so Friday night it will be cousin against cousin. Hunter Campbell of Greenfield, Ryan Campbell of Turner's. They played football against each other in 2017. Ryan switched back to soccer this past fall, but once in a while you'll get uh, blood relatives going up against each other. And you're gonna see it Friday night and you're gonna hear it here on Bear. First free throw by Barrington, good. And he will get one more. He'll be a very nervous uncle sitting in one of these chairs too. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a big game, Bobby C. Second free throw, no good. Karsten Curry to put back, no. 55-39, front team by 16. We're down to six minutes to play. Lavin had the ball stripped by Burrington, got it back, got it to Novak. Down low to Peterson, goes up strong, off the glass and in over Karsten Curry. Yeah, don't see that very often, but AP got it done. Turner's back to the 13. They are just struggling to hang on. They're trying to get another steal. Goes out of bounds. That was off of Sharp. So the Thunder will, in fact, get the ball back. Peter Carey comes in for Walkowitz. And who will throw in? It's going to be Campbell right in front of his own bench. Does Turner's have another run left in them? Lavin, three ball. Short. Campbell, the rebound. New shot clock for the Thunder. Anthony Peterson lowers the shoulder. Over Carson Carey, no good. Sharp clears the board. Double team to the corner, gets it up to Carson Carey. Open man left side is Morse. Morse all the way through, off the glass and in. And he's a strong candidate for player of the game as well. Chase Novak can't control it. Comes down, here comes Morse again. All the way through, finger roll, no good. And an offensive foul over the back against Karsten Carey. Three, four. And that's four on him. Now they're up by 16. I'm thinking the combination of the fact that uh, Karsten Carey is a veteran player. He knows what to do in this situation. I think he's going to leave him out there. Even with four. Nobody getting off the bench, so no. I think you're probably right. Yeah, if it was different situation or if he was a younger player I mean Karsten I mean you know he's been around the block a time or two he knows how to play in this type of situation first of two by Lavin is up and good is he up to 30 yet? Uh, 27 27, 27. Do a double, do a double count. <laughs> 29 alright so he's looking to get to 30 they did actually pull carry now Second free throw is in and out, no good. Rebound though comes to Peterson over to Russell. Wide open three ball, and he missed it. Put back by Peterson, got it. And we could hear the slap of the foul on his arm. They didn't call it. Anthony's just smiling in disgust because he got fouled. Should have been at the line for a three point play. That was Walker, it's the got him, I think. 57 44, Frontier by 13, down to 440 to play in the basketball game. Carey, that's Peter Carey. Sharp's going to take a three. Got it. 
These guys are just stealth, Chris. They really are. 60 to 44, back up to 16 now. Turner's fall starting to run out of time. They need a make here, but more importantly, they need some defensive stops. Lavin shuffle pass to Russell. Jeremiah Russell works himself free, puts up a tough balance, comes down the frontier. They have owned the boards tonight for the most part, as one would expect. Deep on the right is Morse. Takes it in, shuffle pass back to Sharp. Alex, beyond the arc, shot clock at 50. Barrington, fakes the three, Ooh. shuffle the feet, it's traveling. Thought yeah. that was kind of an early whistle, actually. It did look like it, but it was pretty apparent that he had taken the extra step. So the lead remains at 16 for the Hawks. Turner falls with the ball, under four to play though. Trace Snow back on the left wing, can't get the shot away. Gets a screen, can't do anything with it. Right side pass, it goes. Jaden Whiting gets it back. Coming through, they get it back to Whiting. He's gonna take a three point bomb. That is off the back room, no good. Sharp, another rebound. He's had his fair share in this basketball game. Alex will take it across himself. On the right side, stops, that's a kick on Turner. So they'll reset the shot clock. Campbell in for Turner's, Russell out and for Frontier. You've got Peter, uh, check that, Karsten carry in for Wachowicz, so both Carey brothers are out there now. Barrington inbounds, too sharp. Passes on the right side to Morse, Owen holds, puts it down to the floor, passes left side to Barrington. Barrington, head of the circle, 15 to shoot, left side to Barrington. That's passed down low, Peter Carey. Try to get it down low to Karsten. Got tipped out of bounds off Turner's. 11 to shoot. Frontier will keep it. And the inbound it to Barrington. Shot clock at 10. Karsten Carey has it. Top of the key. Morris. Five to shoot. Oh, and all the way through. Scoop shot is no good. And a long pass to Whiting. Couldn't handle it, though. Barrington, long touchdown pass to Morris. All the way through. Off the glass and in. 18-point Red Hawk lead, looking very much like they will get that 11th win. And coming through, Ryan Campbell, foul on the floor before the shot. It's going to go against Frontier. Ryan Campbell's a very impressive athlete. I love the way he moves out there. Got a lot of skills, very quick. It's four fouls on Alex Sharp, but probably immaterial at this point. I think Turner's Falls has just dug too deep of a hole, and there's not enough time left. First free throw, no good by Campbell. And Ryan will get one more. Yeah, I think uh, Gary Mullins pretty much has come to the same conclusion. Freshman Brendan Driscoll is on the court now, seeing his first minute. So that's the first, first sign of the surrender flag going up. Second free throw good, 62 to 45. Sharp double team in the backcourt. Gets it on over. Coming through is Morris. All the way through, kicks it back to Peter Carey. On the right side, back top of the key to Sharp. 15 to shoot, 2.20 to play on the game clock. Three point bomb left side by Morris. And that's 17 big points for him. He has had a big night. Again, he'll be a big part of that Helena Chemical Player of the Game discussion. With a foot on the line, the jumper by Anthony Peterson, no good. And we got a foul on the rebound. I think they got Campbell going over the back, or no, I think they actually got Morris. They did. Yep. Just kind of in the wrong place at the wrong time. Should be. How many shots? Is it two or three? It's going to be two. It's going to be Lavin at the line. Did they have, did they have the right shooter? I think they talk I thought about it was it. Campbell. Yeah, that, okay, you're right, Chris. They had to talk. Uh, Tyler Lavin, who's an excellent free throw shooter. I mean, he's, he said, I'll take him, but it was Campbell. Yeah, it definitely was Campbell. Yep. So that's why we had that delay. And I think Frontier is going to bring in a whole line change here. Yep, they are. After, I think it's going to be after this first free throw, though. Never in doubt. Now with 20 point lead, two minutes left. Two free throws coming up. I tell you what, though, this was. Uh, <laughs> this game was flying by tonight, and this last play it's just got completely bogged down. All right, Campbell shooting two now. Lefty shooter, number 11, dips. Shoots, good. And now the line change for Frontier, five new guys in, but actually all five of the guys have already been, been in at earlier points today. Yeah. 
One more for Campbell. Frontier's lead is 19. And it'll go to 18 as the second free throw was good. <laughs> and yet a Turner's Falls player getting set to impound the ball after the made free throw. And realized his mistake. Two minutes to play in the basketball game. And Frontier cruising to victory number 11. And Turner's Falls Thunder will fall back below 500 on the year. Nurminger, he'll take a jumper. A little bit too strong, no good. Lab on the rebound, long pass down court, tipped away. That is off the hands of Felton Emmerich. It'll stay with Turner's Falls. Well, look good for the Thunder in that first quarter, but ever since then, it's been all frontier pretty much. Yeah, they led 17 to eight after one. They held the Thunder to two points for most of that first quarter. Lavin, step back three, in and out, no good. Rebound taken down by Wachowicz. Puts it over to Felton Emmerich. Dock into the front court, right side to Gachinski. Wachowicz, right of the lane, back to Gachinski. Oh yeah, take that three. Didn't make it, Robinson the weak side rebound. Felton Emery. Robinson, he hit from out there earlier, and he missed that one. Rebound comes to Lavin. Tyler's gonna take it, coast to coast. Dishes it down low. Caught there by Driscoll, turnaround jumper, no good. Tipped out of bounds, frontier basketball. Are they saying white ball? Yep, it'll be Turner's Falls ball, actually. Minute 15 to play, get our post-game show, and coming up, Tyler Lavin chucked out, so he is done for the night. Three-pointer put up by Turner's Falls, that shot is by Waldron, and the putback up and in. And that brought the house down by the Turner's Falls student section. Obviously a player that doesn't play all that much. Bryce Waldron. Dish it down low, they get it top of the key. Felton Emmerich's gonna take a three. He hits that one. 68-49. Lead is 19 points, 42 seconds left. Get it to Bryce again. <laughs> going through his Campbell, lefty land, no good. Offensive rebound, going up strong, shot up, no good. But a foul. Two free throws coming up. 34.9 seconds left to play. A lot of girls screaming in for the Bryce in the uh, yeah. <laughs> Bryce Etz are up there. The Bryce Etz. First free throw good. One more. We'll be joining Leah in progress right after basketball. Second freebie, that one good as well. Frontier, 68. Turner's Falls 51, 30 seconds to play. Gabe Wachinski on the right side. Felton Emmerich, nearly stolen by Driscoll at Turner's. It goes out of bounds. And it'll stay with Frontier, 20 to shoot, 24.7 on the game clock. They get it into Emmerich, he's just gonna kinda dribble. They can't quite dribble it out. There's a four second differential, shot clock to game clock. So we just kinda dilly-dally around the uh, perimeter. They finally dump it down low to Nurminger. Nice passing and finishing down low, Owen Wachowicz. So they've hit 70 for the game. Four seconds left. Three, two, one. Blocked at the buzzer. Ball game over. Frontier wins it. Our final score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. The Frontier Red Hawks 70 and the Turner's Falls Indians 51. Stay tuned. The postgame show coming up next on Bear Country 95. .1. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield.
And welcome to the Bear Country High School Basketball Post Game Report. We've gone final here at Turner's Falls High School. The Frontier Red Hawks with their 11th win of the year, 70 to 51 over Turner's Falls. Jeff Terrell and Chris Collins and our studio producer tonight is Nick Danger in for Dave Reno. Well, it did not come easy to start as Turner's Falls uh, really took the fight to the Red Hawks. They led it by nine early on, but Frontier, they kind of caught their stride and they win comfortably. Yeah, it was an odd start to the game. It was, Frontier looked like they were not in sync. And the way with Turner was with Clint, I'm like, well, maybe, maybe this, they got their number tonight. But Frontier did what great teams do. They went to a different level. They turned it around. Ben Barashevsky coached them up a bit and put in the right combination of guys. Uh, I think the difference, though, in the first quarter was effort. There wasn't a lot of effort being exhibited by Frontier in that first quarter. But the final three was all, all Red Hawks. And that second quarter was what did the job. And I really think they uh, had a decided advantage down low, as they usually do. Turner's Falls, uh, you know, when they were getting hot there for a while, Lavin and some of the other guys shooting the ball well in the first half, then it was fine. They didn't have to rely on getting the offensive putbacks. But when they went cold, it was a lot of one and done. And you're reliant too much on guys staying hot for an entire 32-minute game. And at the high school level, that's just too much to ask. Yeah, and they also missed some easy shots. And there were a couple of times that they were wide open on the outside, wide open underneath. And uh, and they just, you, you got to bury those, especially against a team that's 10-1 and one coming in. I mean, they, they've, they've beaten everybody they've come up against, save for one opponent. You, you cannot afford to miss free throws or miss easy bunnies like that. So Frontier, although they didn't put forth a, a great 32-minute effort for the game, they did win the game. And again, what they displayed is the fact that they really do have it all between the backcourt players, the front court, you know, defense, rebounding, good outside shooting. I mean, they have every ingredient for winning basketball when they display it. That's right. And the, and the key is, you know, they got the inside-out game, like you said. You could afford to take some risky threes because you know you got the Carrier Brothers in there cleaning the glass up. And really, Frontier won this game on the boards as well, on both ends of the floor. They're just The rebounding was just lopsided. That, and then the stepped up guard play. I mean, Frontier put together three quarters of really solid basketball. It was just that first one that uh, they had to get over the hump of. So again, Frontier wins it by 1970 to 51. We will reveal the Helena Chemical player of the game, but Chris will have you run the final numbers. Okay, for the Frontier Redhawks, Karsten Carey finishes with a relatively quiet 19 points. He was a factor out there, but not dominant like he has been in previous games. 17 for Owen Morse, uh, 11 of those in the second half. Peter Carey had 10 points. Uh, we had 8 for Alex Sharp. We had uh, 6 for Owen Walkowitz. 4 for Tim Barrington, the three-pointer for Sam Feldman, late going. For the Turner's Thunder, leading all scorers in the game, Tyler Lavin, 29 points. That's an amazing number of points uh, for Tyler Lavin. Uh, 6 for Anthony Peterson, 5 for... Chase Novak, uh, four points for Bryce Waldron, and four points for Ryan Campbell. All foul shots and single foul shot for Jeremiah Russell. All right, 70-51 to 51 the final. Time now for the Helena Chemical Player of the Game. Every so often, it comes from the team that lost the basketball game. In this case, a team that lost by 19, but there is no denying the impact on this basketball court that uh, that Mr. Tyler Lavin had. Yeah, without Tyler Lavin, this is a one of the, one of these lopsided, you know, real hospital jobs by Frontier. But yeah. Lavin was everywhere. Twenty nine points. He was the undisputed leader of the Turner's Falls Thunder, and and Frontier had some good performances, but n none that I would say better than Tyler Lavin. So for that reason, he gets the T-shirt. So congratulations to Turner's Falls High School senior Tyler Lavin, the Helena Chemical player of the game, albeit in a losing cause, 70-51. And, and, to 51. and by the way, he was raising the T-shirt like a championship belt earlier on the floor <laughs> talking to his friends, so you know he appreciated it. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. All right, so again, our final score for the final time here on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, the Frontier Red Hawks 70, the Turner's Falls Thunder 51. With the win, Frontier goes to 11-1 overall. They're 5-0 in Hampshire League. Turner's Falls, they're on the bubble, 6-7 and seven overall. And two and three in Hampshire League. The next broadcast is Friday night, right back here at Turner's Falls High as the Thunder host the Greenfield Green. 6.45, free game, 7 o'clock tip-off. Chris Collins and Bobby's. For Chris Collins and our studio producer tonight, Nick Danger, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you so much for joining us tonight and have a great night in Bear Country.